Now, the DA will submit a promotion of Access to Information Act to the presidency to make the Digital Vibes SIU report public. The SIU handed the report to President Cyril Ramaphosa earlier this month. DA member of Parliament, Siviwe Kwahube, joins me now live from Cape Town to discuss the party's decision. Siviwe, thank you so much for your time. The president um, has had the SIU report for quite some time now, still hasn't announced the findings and what action he will be taking against those uh, that are found wanting. You want him to make that report public. Yeah, um, good afternoon and uh, good afternoon to your viewers, Clement. Of course, you know, the SIU had completed its report, I think, at the end of June. Um, and they had committed that they were expediting this report and this investigation and would be handing it over to the president as per the legislation that governs this entity. And the president has been sitting on this uh, report now for just over two weeks. Obviously, um, at some point, you know, one was... Or, would have been forgiven and it would have, would have been understood that the president was uh, 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 seized with a number of things that were going on in the country. But the reality here, Clement, is that he's got the report and it is absolutely in the public interest for him to make the public uh, uh, the, to, to make public the findings of the SIU and to explain to the country how it is that he's going to proceed in terms of holding those accountable, the people who have been implicated. But more importantly, it's also important that we get some clarity on what is happening with the uh, minister, the, the minister of health who is now on special leave for at least over a month now, to whether we get clarity as to how is he going to proceed in terms of appointing somebody? Is the minister dismissed? Um, and is there a permanent health minister that will be um, um, uh, appointed? Because we're in the middle of a crisis and it can't be that we are dealing with a minister, an acting minister that is also juggling two portfolios at the same time. The minister in the presidency suggested last week that the president was still, well, preoccupied with the unrest and government's response. What are the consequences of that report gathering dust and the president taking time before he acts? The thing is, Clement, this and, and this is the, 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 the crisis of leadership that we find ourselves often in South Africa, that there's absolutely no sense of accountability. South Africans have been expected to wait until the, the president applies his mind or moves chess pieces along. But the reality is that when somebody does something wrong, they need to be held accountable. They need We need to have the criminal justice system moving in on people and showing people that you cannot steal public money um, with with, with impunity. And the reality is that we can't allow a situation where there's a minister who is in his ministerial position, and for all that we know, he is uh, um, uh, still earning a salary and has all his ministerial perks, but is not doing the work. And uh, and so we need to understand if Minister Mkhize has been found guilty, which reports now suggest that the SIU has found him guilty of a number of things, then he needs to be held accountable. And the president needs to then move with speed in terms of taking the nation into his confidence and saying who will be appointed in that position so that we can hold somebody accountable for our vaccine rollout for various things that the Department of Health needs to deal with and also for us to be able to uh, to essentially have continuity mm. um, in the department. It is wholly unfair that the president has been sitting on something like this for weeks and I think that South Africans have become too patient often with the executive for this kind of for this kind of action. So when do you want the president to respond and what options do you have should he fail to respond with that deadline? Look, I mean, the, the, the reason why we have uh, opted to, to submit a prior application is because, obviously, according to the legislation, um, whatever government entity would have 30 days to respond to that uh, application. We are obviously hoping that the president doesn't have to wait until he's compelled in a court of law to release this report and to make its full, uh, to make the full report, the full unredacted report uh, yeah. available. But, of course, we will then be pursuing this and should he fail to do so, there are legal uh, avenues that are available to us as per the legislation.